Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser and uh, today uh, I am going to demonstrate you a case study of uh, Dell motherboard. As you can see here, the part number is DV14 underscore HR underscore motherboard 10315-1. So as there is a problem that uh, when we plug into the motherboard, so the symptom is like that. I would like to demonstrate you now so sorry for that I cannot show you the my power supply but you see that this uh, particular light this particular light blinks once this one blinks once and uh, then sudden off but uh, first time after few moment when I leave it aside after few moment when I see we find that uh, there is a no light appears on the motherboard and uh, as long as the voltage is concerned I would like to show you that uh, what voltages are available so here let's check few voltages so this is the very new type of uh, video I am trying to make if any mistakes I beg your pardon for that now let's come and check I will try to improve you inshallah now let me check 3.3 uh, and 5 volt so here it must be 3.3 volt is perfect 5 volt is perfect I think uh, no more voltages is available on the motherboard so what could be a reason behind it and uh, sometime when I feel that uh, I insert the DC jack into the motherboard I see in this motherboard without RAM it's constantly on sometime but with RAM on and sudden off so this is a very unique issue in this motherboard so let's check what types of motherboard this is somebody has already done the BIOS so let me zoom it and uh, controller IO is also done it is also done and uh, this IC is removed from here so if you start checking from the beginning let's come and check so this is the motherboard diagram okay and uh, here as uh, you have uh, heard about the PSL logic so here is the positive PSL logic where you are required high voltage instead of low as you used to get in the uh, 3542 motherboard there must be low PSL logic but here you will see that uh, PSL1 and PSL2 here is the information so here is the PSL1 and uh, PSL odd we need to check these voltages okay so let's come I would like to switch uh, my camera so as you can see this is the controller I have Novotone 795P AODX and uh, here what I need to check that uh, do I have the these uh, particular these particular supply like here as I have shown you on the pin number 72 there must be mm, PSL in high 72 let's come and check 72 number pin so you pay attention on the 72 so let me adjust my camera so this side it must be this side so let me check uh, this is the 32 64 and uh, 65 70 72 here let me check this supply so unfortunately we don't have this voltage we don't have voltage on this point now this was not 72 this was 73 sorry for that 70 71 2 3 um, let me insert the DC now it is perfectly fine now you can see here I am checking 73 number and uh, we have 3.2 volt available and uh, PSL odd it must be it must be 3.3 .3 volt so let me confirm the both these both PSL 2 93 number so 
the problem in this motherboard it is uh, turning on very well without RAM and with RAM it is uh, turning on and off sometime you have seen without RAM it is not turning on uh, sometime on and off by itself so it is quite misbehaving you can see that there is a corrosion on the pins you can see the corrosion on the pins there are so much corrosion taken out I see somebody has used in this board so now 93 let's come and 96 95 94 93 so you can see we have 0 0.69 volt around and now I would like to show you how it is misbehaving as I start you can see I am uh, touching this pin and now you will see the voltage is sometime coming and going back okay and as I remove the light has gone from here now you see here once again the light you can see it is fluctuating light is fluctuating on this point as I am holding the because uh, maybe that uh, multimeter voltage it is uh, uh, taking and that is why it is blinking so hopefully this controller IO is bad but before confirming this uh, point we need to confirm that uh, whether it is rightly coming from its own place like uh, from wherever it is coming let's paste it and search and this is the place name of this uh, component is D2702 now check the D2702 now let's come and check so maybe location of this particular area is here this is the area this is the area where I need to check that uh, D2702 so now let me switch the camera so here you can see D2702 and uh, after RN network register this is network register and after this this is the pin this is the point I need to check so in the diagram it is showing pin number one so pin number one is connected with uh, 330 kilo ohm so let's find the area and the area is uh, let me check let me uh, switch off the power and uh, set the multimeter on the BIP so let me set it on the BIP first of all I have to check that uh, where it is connected mm, RN this one this is the register I am just uh, sharing my experience because this is very uh, difficult case I it has taken some time to diagnose and uh, I would like to share this ex experience with you so this is the point and I need to check this particular register let's get out from the BIP now 390 kilo ohm so this is the absolutely right I need to check this particular area that do I have the voltage on this point so let's figure out so I need to check this particular register that do I have the voltage on this point or not so this is the register so let me turn it on as I have turned on you can see that uh, this particular area of the diode is uh, having 3.3 volt but it is not going to the pin number 93 as you can see this is the pin as you can see I have copied this and uh, this is the pin where it should go to the pin number 93 of the controller IO as I have searched it and it is not going now let's search it now it is going to pin number 93 let's check once again do we have so here is the controller IO and the pin number 93 now 93 94 95 96 93 see here how the voltage is fluctuating and now you can also see that what is the condition of the motherboard now let me switch the camera now you see how the light is blinking see as I keep the pin on the pin number 93 the light appears and goes and also this uh, light is uh, fluctuating 
so as I remove the multimeter you see that uh, this is not detecting that PSL logic 2 now need I to replace the controller IO or need I to make a jumper wire so I rather prefer to put a jumper wire on this point now let's come and put some jumper wire manageable work so let me show you how we will do this so we have jumper wire on this point so I need to put a jumper wire from the uh, from this area to to the diode or register so now you see that 93, 94, 95, 96 I need to I think it is uh, inside the track is I am searching that the nearest point in order to avoid the this particular jumper this is the j big jumper I need to place on this point so this seems okay now I have to move it across the motherboard beside the motherboard and uh, I have to place it to the this register so as you can see I have to cut it So this is the place uh, which was uh, having a continuity with this point to the uh, diode to the diode of uh, D2702 and uh, this is the PSL logic 2. Now I think uh, I need to switch the camera and uh, I will insert the DC jack and you see the light close on this point continuously and uh, now the load is 0 0.519 and it is absolutely on now I think uh, I need to check the display on this motherboard let me insert the RAM and uh, let me check the display it seems the display has come yes the display has come on the keyboard so as you have seen guys that uh, everything is working fine actually what was the case study let me discuss with you with a uh, little bit detail because uh, it is quite necessary that uh, what does happen when you meet these types of case actually this was the HM which was shot S0 state was shot due to this uh, HM67 was faulty and uh, I have removed and replaced new IC but uh, the IC which I used the name you can see there is no uh, not uh, any single word is written with the name of HM this was having a suspect of uh, that uh, do I have the right IC or not you can see you can have a look on this so now hold on now you can read the name of the IC uh, what is written anywhere if it is written HM65 uh, HM sorry you can see now that uh, this is the IC I have replaced instead of uh, this IC now you can read this IC name HM67 but I got from my office name of this IC so I replaced it and uh, then I got that situation that without RAM it was uh, it was on and uh, with RAM it was instantly getting off this was the situation this was the scenario and uh, I thought that I thought that uh, that I have got the wrong IC 
and uh, I start checking from the beginning and I found that uh, no PSL input on the PSL logic 2 so this type of uh, case you may have so you need to have information of uh, the all types of logic whatever the uh, whether it could be low logic low PSL logic it may have the high PSL logic so you need to have information of that if you are trying to improve your laptop repairing techniques then you can contact on the given number and you can have our uh, video classes so inshallah you will improve a lot after going through that video classes so if you are interested you text us on this given number or you can call on the same number please like and share this video and uh, if uh, you are in some of group then you sh must share this video so that other will get advantage of this video thank you guys thank you for watching this video